Well, they're English culture. No, they have Highlander. I have Phoenix first. Cock. And we need all of Ireland. And Lao. And then... They would be left with that. And the poor man will go bankrupt because he has so big of an army. And he deleted them. Oh! Oh! Look at them delete armies. <laughs> they have, what, five development left? Yeah, damn straight, they gotta delete it. Damn straight, man. They gotta delete it. Otherwise, they can suck a thick. Go bankrupt like Portugal did. I did the same thing to Portugal, by the way. Portugal went bankrupt because of me. I'm very proud. Making Portugal bankrupt. Making Spain and Portugal bankrupt. It's like making Marco Antonio fail at a world conquest. It's a delight. <laughs> well, like you say, um, let's hope... Okay, they filled everything, and then we integrate them, we get all the colonies, and um, they got drooling hundreds of... Whoa, how many... How much army do they have? 200,000 troops! And a load of good generals! Whoa! Whoa! I have underestimated them! Quantity, offensive, defensive, court ideas, expansion. Expansion probably give them leader fire pip or something. 242. I don't want to waste that now. Maybe I'll just use dip, uh, use uh, exploration. This guy here, we just integrate him, or, uh, yeah, they're still guaranteed by the, by the peace land. So I think it's time to choose brick. Okay, let's go. There's a fort in Kosovo for some reason. And they built a fort in Warsaw now. Guess they got smarter. Oh, I forgot almost. I need to in get the check land. And Warsaw just surrendered already. And the three-day siege remains. Like, look at how much devastation event I'm getting there. Blitzkrieg, man! Nothing stands in our way. Nothing stands in our way. I think that's like all of their forts, like almost all of their forts.
I, there's one more in uh, Guinea, but that's no no big deal. <laughs> Wait, no, really? For real? It's 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 <laughs> almost all of it is sieged already. This is this is this is. <laughs> in one year, we're fully occupying Poland. <laughs> Not even a year has passed. Man. <laughs> Started 1785, and we only have one last fort. It will get done, it will be sieged before the end of the year, and Poland has no more standing level 8. Everything is sieged, everything. Literally. <laughs> this is nuts. Well, this is the last one that they actually have. And they will fall in... There's no even no need to even breach, uh, barrage the wall. Yeah, I need to flip the culture, you're right. And that's that. And that is that, chat. Painless, right? I mean, um, what can I say? We are just better. Let's take a check and Poland first. That's something we can core in nine months. Ho ho ho! The year with Poland last the, the the war with Poland lasted less than one year. The end is nigh. Or oh, the colonies. Uh fort. And they are still desperately trying to siege down one fort from me. Uh, let's attack them. Their 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 military. More score. More war score. Well, god damn. They are surrounded. What is the fifth monarchy? Prosperous. For yeah, prosperous. Fuck that though. I'm not paying 50 admin. I am not playing 50 admin, no sir. Alright, take, take this and then uh, be done with it. As England or Evian Vinger, a trigger English war, and you get a flip fifth monarchy. Yeah, but what does it do? What? Why is it an Easter egg? Easter egg means it's hidden. 
as a as a flavor. You get insane modifiers. Oh. But what are insane modifiers that we're actually talking about? Like, what are we ex talking about exactly? What what insane? Four million manpower, chat. Seven five percent CCR, twenty percent Mr. String Global CB something like that. Well, in that case, twenty percent unrest is nothing. When you have that much, when you have that something like that, unrest is nothing. Just take humanist ideas, take religious, build the monuments, then you don't have the unrest to worry about. I mean, I was processing four hundred overextension like like it was nothing to me. Right? You can definitely handle that. <laughs> like, it's just unrest. Unrest scales. Unscale with what? Scale with your development or what? You really don't know. Well, I don't know, man. I just think uh, 20 unrest is just a minor inconvenience. That's all I think. Unrest is overrated. Oh, we did it! Chat, we did it! We did it! The Ottomans have 100 on corruption! Oh, we did it! Yes! 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 We finally fucking seen it! Ottomans completely ruined! Yes! Chat! Ottoman is a 100 fucking corruption! We are at tag 30 and they're stuck at tag 19! Yes! Paradox really have outdone themselves this time. Talk about things that screw over the AI. <laughs> they have 100 autonomy on most of their provinces. So they basically are not earning any money. Because they have 100% autonomy. Um, they have no money. No manpower. <laughs> no money. No manpower. Barely any trade power. And... Um, what else? Yeah, they have no money. And they even have devastation because of the rebels keep running around. So even their capital is getting fucked. So barely any money. Basically no manpower. No money means no mercs either. So they go into endless debts. Endless debts means endless bankruptcy. Endless bankruptcy means endless negative stability. Endless negative prestige. So even less trade power. And, and more rebels. And um, so with that, basically also l almost no trade money. Because I cut off their trade for the lows. And if that is not enough, they are constantly in debt and bankrupt. So it means they, uh, their points fa constantly get vanished into my, my uh, negative 100. Their rebels continue to harass them and enforce demand. So, they never even got out of the disaster. The Pasha Decadence plus 0 0.25. Yeah. 
and their autonomy is still rising, no matter what they do. There's nothing that can save them from this. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. And remember, I didn't do nothing, alright? I didn't even do anything. In fact, like, I did not even attack the Ottomans once, chat. I did not attack the Ottomans once, alright? You might see that I own some part of Turkey. I didn't take anything from them in the whole game. Not a dime. We had no hostility. I even allied the, the, the dude for Christ's sakes. Like, look, they were, they were. This is like their great extent, and they couldn't even take Syria from the Mamluks. Like, they took, they took like one province, Gaza Strip. But that's about it. Like, Syria is completely untouched. And that's the greater extent. And since then, they have basically gotten endless debts, endless bankruptcies, endless rebels forcing them to blow up. And you see, I I didn't like I did I just some guy took land from them, right? The AI other AI took land from them. I just took the land from the other AI that did. I didn't even touch them once. Oh well. I mean, Ottomans doing well in, with extra modif. I mean, any AI on very hard would do well because of the extra modifiers, though. It has it has nothing to do with the Ottomans. It's just like when you give the AI so much stupid modifiers that they will always do well. It's like a cheat, right? Imagine if you play on very easy. It's the same shit. You can literally give Ming all those modifiers, and they would do well, actually. At least I think even if you if you give Ming, they would do well. I think we can get four million manpower, chat. Do you believe it? Do you believe we can get 4 million manpower out of the world? I wanna try. And this is without quantity ideas. With quantities we would have hit 4 million already. I gotta ask, is is there a cap for coring cost? Like, can you actually get to a point where you have zero admin for uh, coring? Like, you pay zero admin for coring, so basically you can make endless amount of states. Oh wait, you can't though, because uh, of the governing cap. But it would be fun to know, like, if it, you can actually theoretically do it. W with our governing cap restrictions, anyway. Like, I wonder how much manpower you can get, like, just from that. Or, or money, also. Well, we can build some more of these. We're collecting fairness, right? Yeah, we are. That's fine. How do we get 60 merchants ready? <laughs> Ooh. Close. Close. 3.7 mil.
close. Ally with Franz. Ottomans. Ottomans ally with Franz. Any manpower from policies? Well, I can always take quantity ideas. Oh yeah, there is if I get exploration. But otherwise, I don't think so. But uh, it doesn't really matter, right? At this point, nothing really matters. Scandinavia, breaking truce. Um, time to flip Norwegian. Well, shit. We need 20 to accept it. Well, I guess Denmark would have to do it. Fuck. Fuck. Well, Karelian, maybe? Not possible. Well, either I develop these land... How much do we have now? We need seven devs. I think it's doable, actually. What? What do you say? What do you know? What do you know? What do you say? I want to strengthen government though. Lost some bit of uh, admin efficiency there. Otherwise, it's good. Breaking truce. We're still calling something, right? Better let it finish first. I guess that sound means we're done. Let's take Stockholm's. <laughs> this is actually great. 29 admin for step 2. Can definitely afford that. Alright, it's a time again. Is that time again? Where are my troops up here? Get some guys. And just see everything falls. Just like that. Just like that. I can siege faster than my armies can move. <laughs> I can siege faster than my army can move. Why did you fastlize Butapa? I, uh... Eight Kilva, and I didn't have points to actually core everything. It was too much. It was like 1,000 something. Like, it was just stupidly expensive. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna deal. I'm not gonna deal with that.
Oh, good. No forts there. Go straight through then. Then we have the, the sound control. Easy. <laughs> Is that even a war anymore? It's like the race to 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 Berlin as the Soviets. Is that even a war anymore? Is the race to Berlin, chat? <laughs> Well, they're definitely having something on their own as well. Ninety artillery. Their line's completely broken. The lines are completely broken, and the artillery massacred. And anything less wiped. I think I f f um, should just blockade it straight. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like they, the forts in 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 Finland will not stop us. Will we win or will we lose? Oh shit! I think we'll lose. They have better engagement with. Them. Yeah, they have better engagement with because of the Essex maneuver. Ah uh, well. Anyways. Could have been worse. Oh well, anyways. It will buff out. I'm glad they deleted the fort in uh, Gotland, though. Scandinavia. Holstein. Well, that's all of it. That's all of it, chat. That's all of Scandinavian lands. No colonies. Not that I can see. Forget born home. I did have it. I did have it. Yes, nah, they're not gonna give me these. Well, not you Welcome to the family stone. <laughs> hey, Giannis, thanks for subbing with Twitch by man. Thanks a lot. Well, well, anyways. Too bad I can't use the core all button. Would have been really helpful right here. I mean, I technically can just use, uh, just move my capital back to the old world and let the whole new world core itself out. But, uh, it would be kind of pointless. Iceland, Hamburg. Oh ho! -ho. 
and they are a 350 development <laughs> small nation. They're becoming German as we speak. I can upgrade Kakov Clove Hole. Eh, whatever. Does it give me points? They should make it so that uh, excessive prestige always get converted in Monarch points if they're going down this route. At least in my opinion. Like not just not just certain events, but all of it. Stacking prestige from land battle. Well, maybe not those, but uh, like for example the the event, the other event that I got. Maybe those. Like for example, I just got like what ten prestige or something. Then maybe that can become like you know mana points. I'm just saying, if they're going making events give. Give uh, convert extra prestige into mana points, and why not like other events too? I mean, obviously not taking taking prestige, like uh, taking prestige uh, when you have one hundred or something. Not 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 those, but like other sources that like a one-time thing. Can I get like some guy who? Uh... <sighs> Well, it doesn't really matter, right? I don't really need any abilities from that. I think. Well, inflation reduction might be better than some stupid tax modifier, though. Oh, I can uh, get this copper mine. Artillery cost twenty percent. Domestic trade power, blah 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 blah. Canal Kornberg. Uh, all of these don't require anything. Well, let me guess. My uh, governing cap is gonna reach a limit soon because I didn't build anything new. I think it should still carry me to the end, though. The the amount of um, governing cap I have should still carry me to the end of the game. If not, it doesn't really matter because it's just a bit more increase in costs. This macro builder doesn't work most of the time.
Sometimes AI build courthouse. They did. They did. Because um, I think it has to do with the autonomy though. Sometimes they do, like rarely, especially back in the day when it requires a slot. But they did. Oh, look at the Ottomans. There we go again. What did I say? They just can't stop exploding. <laughs> Alright, North Korot. Mutaba is my first. Commonwealth. One, two. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten nations left. One of this is my vassal. So. That makes no sense, right? Oh, Great Britain! Yes, right, I forgot they even existed. Great Britain, and North I was like, who is below Novgorod in the Great Power List? And now I guess I found my answer. I was like, who, who was it? I don't even remember if Great Britain still exists. I th <laughs> Make Ottoman Great Power number two again. Yeah, true, true, true. That, that is a good idea. Wait, why is they still guaranteeing them? Do they really want to die so badly? We'll oblige them. We'll oblige them. They really don't take much to full annex them now. Can I actually... Can, can this game actually register my clicks, like, properly? They really don't take much. We must wreck skill the Germans by liberating them. That's everything, right? Oh, except Novgorod. That siege deck doesn't have enough artillery. Now we do. And North Korot. Full annexation, Scandinavia will not exist after this war. How laggy do you want a game to become, chat? <laughs> Peak paradox. How laggy do you want a game to become? How many buttons should we add to lag out a game? Great Britain, development 10. And they're alive. Britain. I'm actually sandwiching them already, and I think the truce is about to end, because we truce broke them, and the last war was just Ireland and stuff. I managed a TC, assign one estate, what? Well, if you have court, a town hall, and you have enough money to build them and everything, then it doesn't matter. You can assign everything to trade company. But it's a micro hell, and it takes a lot of money. Um, otherwise, the war with England is done. 13 days. I think this does not give overextension, so I don't have to core this. Um, otherwise, just trade centers, trade company to trade centers. Just trade company only the trade centers, so you get the merchant. And the rest of the land leave it as territory, because it's not worth. Like trade companies, not even worth it. Like, 
make, putting things in trade company, um, it doesn't give you any more manpower or force limit than a territory does, so it's not even worth it. And it use up your governing cap. Ottoman's just not getting the institution. Ottoman is getting the institution, but they 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 just keep you know they're devastated by the rebels, they're bankrupt, so it takes forever. They just bankrupt, you know, they're just constantly bankrupt. Wait, you can go to negative? What? Oh my god. You can actually go into negative. Wait, for real? Wait, you can lose institution? I've never seen this. Oh. <laughs> How bad do you have to be? In order to lose institution. Oh my lord. That's news to me too. I've never seen it. I mean, no AI country. I mean, humans definitely won't get to that point. It's a complete big fuck up. And, and AI, I also never really seen AI get to that point either. It's... It's... It's just... Wow. Remember, they're still stuck at Tech 19. Remember that, chat. <laughs> they are still stuck at a Tech 19. Well, Ottomans will not join because they're bankrupt again. It's amazing. It truly is a miracle. <laughs> it's really a miracle, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, I'm gonna go and uh, have a swim. It's a nice weather. Let's lower it a little bit. Some of these are just way too high, especially putting into a tree company. Guess it might not actually carry us through. This governing cap is just not high enough to carry us through. That should be do. This should be fine. 56 and they take 28. You know the answer. I do. Well, fuck. 28. This is from one province that is called Stockholm. Twenty. Jesus Christ, man! Like, <laughs> yeah, my governing cap just won't carry carry me through this. Like, it just won't. I mean, there is the part where it doesn't matter if a three thousand. There's like so much more dev in the world. Like we're at forty thousand already. We go. We should be going up to about forty-three k by pure estimate. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, finish this off. It's already seventeen ninety-four. Holy fuck! Oh my god. Well, I want to do this in six years. I think that is possible. But I just have to fight a bit more wars and less jerk orbs. We recently said... The fuck... Why... Is that... A thing?
Oh, god damn it. Piece of shit. Well, maybe we should... Uh, what is my culture? Norwegian. Alright, then we don't need it. Well, next culture group. Maybe... Serbian. Maybe. Let's see how well the devs... Or Turkish. It really doesn't matter. Well, he's gonna go Imperialism on this guy. Yeah, we're gonna go Imperialism on this guy. There's... There's really no need. Uh, common bitch. Well, let's break this truce. And then Serbian. Well, flipping culture is only what? Oh, well, that was cheap for some reason. Alright, we're not stopping now. We're going for it, chat. We're not stopping. I'm gonna pick them with some good generals. Give them everyone a general. Just do it and um, siege everything fast and hard. I don't think it matters if they get caught in like that or not, because we are going to uh, any of the treaties and truce break them anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Five guys. So it doesn't matter, just attack away. All right, here we go again. Sixteen military points for each general. Let's go for it. Siege, get the capital there for the Netherlands. All hands on deck. Can you use excessive government form for cap? Yeah, I already use it though. Like, it's already 84 each, it doesn't get any higher. 
it's just what it is, man. It's like, dude, there's too much dev, right? Look at this. It's all 24 and 20, like 40 everywhere. Then this fucking turkey. 40, 40, 40. Everything is fucking 40. Like, it just doesn't work. All right, we need some more troops. Oh. We need the imperialism. Well, Netherlands. Is the game gonna crash? Huh. Guess uh, somehow it didn't crash. Alright then, choose brick again. Right again. Right away. We're not waiting five years for that shit. And two Sicilies. It's gonna go down. In a ball of fire. Let our, uh, Spies and shit do all the work, and France. A new treaty with the Sicilies. And Ottomans. Ottomans still won't join, right? They're still bankrupt, I think. Not sure, but I would just do both, just in case. What are these stacks? These are not my st uh, These are Butabha stacks. You know... It doesn't matter. We'll just... Uh... I mean, it's not like the Sicilies can join the war against us, right? <sighs> Guys, said he would hop on Discord with me to discuss stuff. Well, you just said later. <laughs> well, I'm almost finishing the, the the run anyway. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> hey, Speaky, thanks for this prime sub, man. I know you're my best friend. Okay. Do you like what I've been doing to France? And then you do sport now. Really? In the middle of the night? What, what does sport include? Masturbation? Alright, then we yeah, no treaty with that. Go do you. <laughs> yes, this is my sport. This is my sport. 80%. Then 
Maybe it's better to leave Franz as an OPM and uh, whack him. We have lost ability, like I give a shit. Right. Name of the game is Bleach Creek. Some French province here. Nah, I think I just call it normally. It's fine. Name of the game is Bleeds Creek. Constantinopoli. Oh, and we have a uh, road that we need to siege. Holy shit, six siege with admirals. How is that possible? Well, it, it does nothing though. The sad part is that it does nothing though. Would like to buy down my war exhaustion. City has a great game until Spain murdered them, yeah. Well, Spain always won Naples though, right? Alright, Poland. No dip points for any more culture switching at the moment so we have to call this the old-fashioned way of uh, 18 months will be higher actually with the fucking war exhaustion I got but there's nothing I can do about it unless I let it take down which takes too long or reduce it but I don't well maybe I can reduce it one time it's doable We're winning wars faster than we can core. Again. 